you know, I was like, as a kid, you know, I, I couldn't afford, we couldn't afford my mom them to try to get five, six hundred dollars up to go to a, you know, a camp <laughs> back then. You know? yeah. I they mean, would have tried their best to do this and that, but I wasn't that dude. I mm -hmm. wasn't none of that. You know what I mean? To, to, to look, looking back at it now, and that's what I mean about not blowing smoke even to today. You know, and the same thing with Butch. You know, it, it, having getting that opportunity and getting those two invites, when when Garfinkel gave me the invites and getting those two, they it was like okay, you going with the wolves now. So let me ask you, 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 you gonna be who you are, right. right? And you not gonna blow smoke. No question. So how did you know Butch you know, had the thing, it? In the thing what I saw with Butch and and the passion that I you know the passion when I say the passion was about like I said earlier finding out what it took for more guys to get these opportunities to play with the quote unquote the best guys. Even with Butch making an all-star game, he was a rising senior. These guys have been coming to five-star since middle school. Yeah. So they all knew them. Mm -hmm. You know, we sending two guys that had never been, that never even heard of it for real. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and I'm like, then you're looking at Butch with that length and could put it on the floor, could catch and face up. You know, he had almost like a Robert Horry type of thing, what people call that now, the face up four. Mm -hmm. That's Butch, Butch was a face up four back then. He wasn't really no center. Butch could face you up, triple threat you, and shoot that jump and hit it right in your face. You know, yeah, I mean? he like, had okay. that slobber coming out, you know, that wolf. You know, he had that, that mutant going on. And I was like, okay, <laughs> this that time. Let's let's go ahead on and send you on up here. And, and it is what it is. Yeah. This is yeah. what you, you ain't never played against nothing like this before. No, no, no. That's pro prospect pros. Yeah. So, 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 get the that's, that's the part. I don't, I don't like missing pieces. <laughs> and we the thing stand, that was a big deal. Huge deal. For him to go make the All-Star game, and I think he went up head-to-head -head against Alonzo and had like 22 against Alonzo at that time, and I knew then, because you know, I was getting reports. I wasn't there. That, that's when, when I, I knew. I mean, you, you take a chance. I'm always like this. I, hey, I understand about not having an opportunity. Everything in life is about op having an opportunity, but being so, prepared for it. Right. See, here, here it is. Butch had prepared himself for it. Because that's all he used to think about. You know, you got to have that type of attitude and youth playing any sports right now. But that's all they think about if you really, truly going to see it. You know, I, as a former player, you know, I don't flip the script. That's the goal for everybody. Because I'm going to make sure everybody gets the same opportunity. Yeah, somebody listen, might you know think what? like a Fonny Mason yeah. that was coming off the bench. And where yeah. he go? We yeah. in school. Yeah. And our friend Squires, we, we, the, the article they did in the paper, uh, auditioned for the unrecruited, had a picture of him. And finally had an opportunity to go to a junior college out in Eastern Smith, Wyoming Ricky Smith, with Ricky Smith. Rest in, Smith. Yeah. Red, rest in peace, our guy Ricky Smith. All of them out in Eastern Eastern Wyoming. It yeah. didn't matter where it was. I'm looking for. I'm gonna send you somewhere. You got people in the head going somewhere where they got rattle roast. Yeah. From a kid yeah. from from the city, <laughs> from yeah. from one of our areas, yeah. going out somewhere where they doing rattle roast. He called him back because he freaked out. Yeah. He trying to run and hide somewhere. Everybody grinning and smiling, yeah. waiting for that rattle and get on that grill yeah. and throw some teriyaki sauce. On them yeah. and tear them up. <laughs> really, really a life changing experience, yeah, man. Absolutely. I mean, like T said, it don't matter what school you go to, man. And just the experience. Oh, and you got to no get question. the best out of that experience, no man. Question. And you got to stay humble. I got, you know, I got, you know my son, man. I, I tell him the story of what, what, of, of how, I, how I kind of. You know, made it when, mm -hmm. when when T sent me. That's a heck of a story. Oh, that man, man that paid that avenue for me. I tell a lot of kids that story. Because it's, uh, uh, it's about opportunity. Yeah, but that's mm -hmm. it. You get an opportunity, and you gotta stay true to yourself mm -hmm. and true to what you love. Mm -hmm. It could be a science fair. Mm -hmm. If somebody give you the opportunity, and you man. can't get to that science fair, and right. this science fair. It may put you on a map per se, or yeah. and I think that's the real meaning of equality. You want you want a chance, not charity. Yeah, yes. you, you want know? a chance. Mm -hmm. And the line yeah, that we still mean. use to this day, be that we use over this summer. <laughs> this is a good day to be good. Yeah, a good day to be good. <laughs> With all these coaches around this floor, Man. this is a good day. Yeah, to be good, because yeah, I'm gonna tell you, it's just about being prepared for the opportunity, man. Right. I mean, because see, you know, deep as deep down as this stuff goes for me, it's because I grew up in a time where, you know, I was raised by a single mom. You know, had a great support system, family. Yeah, but but it, I, I tell everybody now, if we would have had this type of stuff back in the '70s, early '80s, yeah. from this area, yeah. because I tell anybody. 
most of the dudes I grew I grew up with, I mean, it was far more talent back then yeah. than it is in Richmond yeah. now. Yeah. You can I don't care what you think. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was some major It's like dude. a Butch Mars. Yeah. yeah. Major Butch, dude. Butch Mars would have without dude. With, he would have been one of those ones we sitting here talking about that should have been on a major scene. Here we got, then we, you know, we go to five star, then we do the first year AAU. Mm -hmm. And then one of our terms against Lonzo Morning again. And, and see, most people see Alonzo and, and, and be, be going up in a shell. Mm -hmm. Butch was like, oh, I can't wait. Because I got, I played against Alonzo this summer. Yeah. So yeah. the fear factor was over. I can play with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, from my opportunity. Yeah, from my opportunity. See, you man. have to do this, man. You know, anything that's, that's so messed up about what's going on now. Where they're cutting down the live, you know, the shoe company only events, you know, and, and a lot of people don't get an opportunity to go to those events if they're not on one of those teams. And 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 then we missing we missing it. We missing it. Cause those events are just like for a Butch Mars. You know, we would have started out back then as a AAU program and and, and we couldn't have got in because we weren't sponsored. Then you talk about guys like that might have been missed if it wasn't for other yeah. avenues yeah. that I was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's that's a prime example. That's what you get ready to do now. Even uh, though we know so many more people now getting this sponsorship stuff and you know, you gotta have these players, you know, all this other stuff that's going on. But you know, the reality of it is you still gonna have people that's gonna be able to play. Like we're 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 non sponsored now, but I started non sponsored. You know, yeah. we getting we getting uniforms and T-shirts, and we getting a friend of mine from high school go to A and N and donate me fifteen pairs of shorts. Then I get a guy from work to donate me some T-shirts. We put some numbers on them. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. we went out there and played yeah. the first year AAU. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about none of this stuff. I ain't had nobody to talk to because I'm the first. I'm going on just fate and trying to make something happen with nothing. Yeah, you know what I mean. But my whole point is, we were non-sponsored. Then we became sponsored. That put us at a totally different level. The other part of that thing was, you know, I had the twins, Simeon and Sam and Haley, mm -hmm. before I was sponsored. Then I had Ray Allen and Mike Minifield come down and play Squires before I was sponsored. And then Kevin Garnett started playing with us through Ray introducing me to Kevin. And we were non-sponsored.